Tu nic nie mancha, Jumar Lorda Wata. No sanazika. Ta mancha more chiwa, mufala wa ni bobo. Da hupa, bo sakurata, go jujutu. Onta chi. Ta kometa, kabla yiad. Chone murlera. Tonkin kawadumpa munsur. Ta mancha more chiwa. Da hupa. I've been all over the galaxy and this is... Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying very well. I really can't be any... Welcome back. My deck is still... Foul business, that is. Welcome back. You want another game? <laughs> that round you had the luck of a hairless bantha friend. Do you want to?
lot of credits to be made. Some of those alien thugs have it at you, right? I am. We some more go to see Shiba Dente School. Bram Tabanin Sochu. The. Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chotin, Wanima, Kavadumpa, Mo Windido. Welcome back. My deck is still warm. Oh, need a man. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatur. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Kavadumba mun muliwrawa iberendi. Visa yet? I'm still paying for it. I had faith you'd get hold of one. I've always <laughs> Haven't we covered this yet? I'm not going to tell you. It's not legal. And you don't. So what do you want for it? A weapon? Money? Here you go. If you aren't satisfied with it, just let me know. Are you satisfied with... The visa wasn't for...
A lot of credits to be made. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. We're gonna have to find another source of shit. I heard a lot of bodies. Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship. Thanks to the Captain. We get- That was a noble th Yes, is something wrong? Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the. So, you're back. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. That's an air defense tower. Towers like... Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. It protected us from the dangerous beast that... For ages, our worst... They learned how to tame the... Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have. Stay up. Back again, off work. We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, Command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. What else do you want? I thought... Stay out...
work that needs to be done? A lot of credits to be made. Da wancha more chiwa, mufala wa ni. Chone murle ra, tonkinge ba no jansa ka ni. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liya wa. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinama. Chone murle ra, kavadumba. Go back to your ship off work. This is our part of it. This room is reserved. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. Go back to your ship off world. Do you have a visa yet? I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. Let's just say I'm one of the... That's all I... Do you have a visa? I... Good to see you again. What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Ghent didn't do it, because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now, he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen, which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for... Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit, their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon, but the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. 
Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. Know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor, but he is a great drinking companion. I must Nobody we talked with mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the cantina might know more. Da wancha more chiwa. Da hupa, bossa curata, go jujutu yoki. Hia punta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga con. Da wancha more chiwa, mufala wa ni bo. Ichawa te crossi wisio toda si. E crimba chok windindo. This room is reserved. Huh. If you ask me, she... That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's fine. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bakel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. ちょっと<音声><音声><音声><音声><音声> <音声> 
Ta hupu bote nyo go jucho picha Gwen taba ni sochu Norotoga proto Kava dumpe masuraku Kroto no ranga manatandi grot Nunchko Tanto todos Dumu karata Me ranga naroto Kroto no ranga manatandi groto Mopi una wana si chin si wana bush. Minsu krei ma su kun batunga la. Ya ati ya ati. Ya ati. Ben kule ya ati. Thank you for your business. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. The one the hoopa, bossa curata, go juju to yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki, yukito tune, kawana bota yunta tanga kinama. Hello there, what is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatora tayaita ta bosana hansata tu nita manja. Back again, Offworlder? 
I'm sure you have a starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. Like I said, I was warned by command to keep my opinions to myself. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people... Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Yes, tell them what you really think, Riken. I don't think so. I know you'd like nothing better than getting me drummed out of the military, but I'm not gonna say a word. It's not that simple. Are you implying something, Riken? The only thing I'm implying is that it's my duty as a soldier to keep politics at home. On the job, I respect the rank and the chain of command. I'm doing what I feel is right. Are you? That's something that each person has to answer for themselves. This topic is leading nowhere except for trouble for me. So, help a guy out. Let's talk about something else. Uh, but the Republic blockade has meant long delays. And because of that, beast cages are filling up the streets of Isis. Stay out of... Back again, Offworlder? Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. As time, if you... The politics of the day is probably the most talked about. Opinions are like... Time, if you... Yes, I don't... It's not that simple. Are you implying... The only thing... Stay out of... Welcome back. My deck is... Foul business, that is. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. 
This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Uh, what he meant to say, Major, is that they were friends. So these two were friends? A friend would never say such things to another friend. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima the bartender can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gant. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gant out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably if you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring- Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Wrong place, wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at, and she could drink. No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? Nobody knows for sure, but everybody thinks that General Vaklu has to have something to do with it. They're keeping the attempts quiet, but that place is locked down tight. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisk has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one to clean me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. If you take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all of this. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. Have you found the encrypted all? I doubt the. Have you found the encrypted hall?
found the encrypted holodeck. Stay out of trouble. Greetings, Mask. Entity Behema Un. The market rate for the. Thank you. Q. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota you. Welcome back. Found if it all there's no Nico, is it? That's a. It's a lot. That should do it. We still don't know who. You have been ordered. I had nothing. We've already. Have you read? You expect me? It's absolutely true. But he. I see. So what? The only thing. You have a. I've seen the real killer. Very well. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gan out right away. You're quite a team. The investigation with Dagon. 
I'm not gonna say anymore. If you head over to Dagon, thanks for clearing this hole. We really. Thanks for getting me out of it. I hope. Wrong. No, and at this point, I don't. Not many people can help. A Jedi Master, you say? There's a slight problem. Thing. So here, the Kells gang pretty much. She's in the local. Just. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You? And just how do you intend to do that? It isn't for sale. I warned you, Offworlder. Kill her! Yes, is something... encrypted all of this yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. 
Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expo- Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'm not going to this house. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! For the sake of the civilians here, we should exercise restraint in this battle. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant! Take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. <laughs> Appearances have to be maintained, and I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? A Sith Lord. No idea of the name. The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onda. The Republic's time is nearly over. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with... Eventually, we will attack... The Queen has lashed her future to an ailing Republic. But Vaklu wants Onderon to be independent and strong. And ult... You must make a choice. Vaklu is a political animal. But he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. Then why did you help Ander? You would serve Talia instead? 
we could help you settle your score with Kavar. You have made a foolish decision. Men, kill the Jedi! She will be of no use to us. Yes, is something wrong? Of course. I try to treasure these moments.
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. What's going on? There isn't one. What's going on? <laughs> I, uh, I noticed your incident just now. I'm afraid I have nothing more to say. The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? You're cleared to leave. I'd be
shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. You again. You don't need to see. Back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic, and then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship.
you'll be able to return to Isis anytime soon. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire... Kelvin's been pushing to get the entire base, so... Ready to head back to your ship? Give... Follow me. There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Corellian diplomat Mimis Yoon, and Yusunus of Achani. I'm not sure that he intended to conquer. I think he was trying to do something else. I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know. And that concerns me. Yes, have very well. Ah, oh, I had wondered if, but your powers are strong indeed. Now is not the time to speak of this. Wait until you have more of the galaxy within you, and we shall speak again. Ask. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Remove it from your lightsaber, then ask me about it again. Is there something else you wished? A discussion, perhaps, for another time. T3, you have been with us since Terrace. Without you, we would never have escaped that place. And for that, I thank you. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen glimpses of the future. And the bond that he and I share does not allow him to hide everything from me. More of his memories have returned, and they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. But I am afraid for him. Afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy, if he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. The Republic... I can't lose him, even if he believes he is protecting me.
Yes, General. My life for your. I will answer. It is not something I speak of. The home world is no longer, and that is all. I will answer. I'm not, but there. Something up? All right, but I'm out. All right. <laughs> 